Hey, hello guys. This is Manhar Gupta, and I am with another review of a new ROM that is Tipsy OS Marshmallow based ROM. As you can see here, as you can see here that I am on Tipsy OS 7, Tipsy OS, and the Android version of this ROM is Android 6.0.1. the security patch is still of december 1 and the tipsy version is unknown kernel is velocity kernel this rom is based on layer theme engine and which works really good in terms of uh, in terms of ui looking you can see here the layer manager works pretty well here you can apply any layer according to your needs And you can select all, or you can select every app you want to customize. It's you have. Now coming to the features of this room. First feature is that it supports this layer theme engine. CM theme engine is not supported in this room. Navigation buttons can be enabled or disabled, but there are few options customizable in this button options. Overall, the performance of this ROM is very smooth comparatively. But the main problem is only Velocity kernel supports this ROM. The features of this ROM: this ROM is really nice. You can edit power menu, and you can add all these options like power reboot, advanced reboot, screenshot. screen record airplane mode settings lockdown sound panel etc you can customize the animations according to your needs you can add a app circle bar you have a battery bar options like you can edit the battery location battery bar location battery bar style battery bar color etc you have a lcd density changer you can see the warning you have a pop by control you have a status bar tweaks like these quick settings notification weather management status bar items time contextual header double tap to sleep network traffic battery clock and date carrier label etc and you can also enable weather settings overall the performance of this rom is very 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 smooth and the battery backup provided in this rom by using velocity kernel is good i also i i had faced few uh, bugs like recent uh, like these soft keys are on whenever i reboot my phone and sometimes the flashlight is missing from the status bar you can see here overall the performance of this rom is really very smooth and this rom is worth trying i will suggest to use this rom there are few customization options but the ui is super smooth overall performance of this rom is really good there are no lags there are few heating issues but i hope there will be a future update by, by nikhil verma very soon and will fix all these bugs further i am waiting for the team ub rom to be updated by nikhil verma thank you for watching this video do like do subscribe my channel thank you